This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, 3rd April 2024. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. The House of Representatives Committee on Disabilities has invited the management of a popular food outlet, Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC, over the alleged ill treatment of Adebola Daniel, son of former Rogun State Governor Binga Daniel, and a person living with disability. The committee chairman, Bashiru Ayala Oshodi, solo federal constituency one, Lagos State, says the committee would ensure that those found to have breached the Disability Act are punished by the provisions of the law. As expected, Parents negate ongoing efforts to implement the Disability Act. Ayinla, while commending the Lagos State Government, enjoined other states to emulate Lagos in domesticating the Disability Act to protect the rights of differently abled people. Adebola, a wheelchair user, was said to have been denied access to the KFC outlet within the Motala Muhammad International Airport, Lagos, last week, with the manager quoted as saying, no wheelchair allowed. The Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board JAM says it has uncovered at least 1,665 fake A-level results during the 2023 direct entry registration exercise. The registrar, Professor Ishaq Oluyedi, says 397 were from colleges of education, 453 were university diplomas, and the rest were other A-level certificates. Oluyedi reiterated the need to safeguard the integrity of A-level certificates used in secure in admission through measures that would stand the test of time. The registrar recalled that in the past, when a candidate applied for DE, the board would simply ask awarding institutions to do the necessary screening and due diligence. He stated that Jam was shocked by the revelations from Bayero University, Kano, where out of the 148 direct entry applications to the institution, only six of the certificates forwarded for processing were genuine. The Republic of Senegal inaugurated Africa's youngest elected leader as president on Tuesday. He is 44-year-old Bashiru Domaye Faye, who completed a dramatic ascent from prison to palace within weeks. The popular opposition figure who helped catapult him to victory, Usman Sonko, was also named the country's new prime minister. This is the first elected office for Faye, a former tax inspector. His rise has reflected widespread frustration among Senegal's youth with a number of leaders widely accused of clinging to power for decades. In his first speech as president-elect, Faye promised to fight corruption and reform the economy. He said he will work tirelessly to preserve peace and national cohesion. The new president was little known until Sonko, who came third in the previous election in 2019, named him to run in his place after being barred from the election for a prior conviction. A practicing Muslim from a small town, Faye has two wives, both of whom were present at the inauguration. Several world leaders, including President Bola Hamid Tinubu, were present at the inauguration of Bashiru Faye, Africa's youngest elected president. And that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Have a fantastic midweek.